Good morning, everyone. I didn't put this on in the bathroom because I wanted my vitamin C serum to soak in, okay? The EV Technology Daily Defense Facial Mousse, as many of you have known about, if you have been watching me for a while. I like it because it's foamy. It's, it's something different to use. And the technology is that you only need that much foam to completely cover your face neck and ears although i know cyril cbu doesn't really like the one because he says that um you don't get the guaranteed coverage or some protection but i i like it i like how it feels i like how it applies it's just you know very lightweight and easy today papa and i are going to get this special bread at bien queen it is a delicious fermented uh, dough brioche. It's called Pandemi, I think. And after that, we're going to B&H because I had bought a drone, but the drone wasn't in the package that they gave me. So I'm going to pick that up today and then come back because I have a noon class. Today didn't start off as productive as I had wanted. I didn't sleep very well and um, I was like up at four, but I was like, you can't possibly because I didn't go to bed until like 11 something, maybe later because I didn't fall asleep right away. So I insisted on staying in bed when I really should have gotten up, but I was like, you gotta get the rest. I edited for maybe half an hour and I went back to bed for like 40 minutes. So I'm, I'm up now to, so we could go on our excursion. Uh, but yeah, hopefully today will be a little more productive. Ugh. Last week was great. My, my workflow was lit. But this week, mm, it's questionable. So I'll check back in with you guys when we're in the car. On our way to Manhattan Island from Westchester. And until then, I'll see you there. We finally found 
bien cui because I could not find it for the life of me. Oh my god. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, how you doing? Well, thank you so much for helping me finding this. <laughs> I have an order for pickup. Great, thank you so much. Thank you much. Have a good one. successfully retrieved the drone and also maybe some uh, Apple AirPods Pro because they were on sale and I couldn't resist the uh, $50 discount which is not a lot but for Apple accessories thanks b and it's a pretty good deal you know what I'm saying we are at uh, 34th Street one of the largest intersections here in New York you got to make sure that uh, you look where you're going but we pedestrians could be a little aggressive, you know what I'm saying? We'll cross when the light is green. Relentlessly. So we successfully retrieved our items. Give it up to B&H for being ultra organized and super helpful in everything that they do. I mean, this is really the best store ever. And again, we gotta look both ways until we cross the street. We're living dangerously. Alicia, you're so bad. All right, and then we're gonna get back home. Hooray! We're in the car, we're ready to go. Right. Back to Westchester. Pop is the best driver ever. <laughs> we know the ins and outs of all the roads. Now we're heading back on the West Side Highway. So we can get back home. Because right now, 927, oop, disappeared. I have a class at noon. So we could chill a little bit when we get home before I start teaching the peeps <laughs> tomorrow we gotta we gotta go to connecticut to get another bread have we did i mention that we're bread connoisseurs here in the archer household this one is triple fermented i don't have to talk with this so i'm in the car this is triple fermented which means it's um very is a very good sourdough really good for the digestion it's not as intense if with the grains not being fermented but that's in Connecticut, so they open at 7. But I put in an order for us online, and when we get over there, all we need to do is call them up and say, we're here, and they bring it out to the car, and we're back on our way. So it seems like it will be a pretty seamless transaction. But now I will uh, grace you with some West Side scenery. Enjoy. Right, we're about to have some bone broth. I'm gonna add some Redmond's real salt, about a quarter of a teaspoon. We're about an hour away from teaching Deep Extreme. You're like, what the heck is that? Deep Extreme is not my format. It's a format I learned how to teach maybe, oh my God, 
maybe like six years ago. It's all based on strength, balance, and flexibility and created by Robert Steinbacher, who believes in the power of movement, not only movement, but repetitive movement. He found that a lot of modalities, for instance, yoga, people feel really uncomfortable sometimes saying the mantras that are very much integrated and, and a part of the yoga practice and the role that plays the mantras much like prayer is the repetitive phrases put you in a meditative state. So he wanted a, an opportunity for people to experience the, the nature or the benefits of repetition, but in movement. So a lot of the movements in Deep Extreme and the Deep Extreme vocabulary is called deep work, is the fact that you have these swing and release movements that are very tied to your breath. They access the myofascial lines that are often very tight. And um, although people love it for the cardiovascular benefit because it does get your heart rate up without the impact, it is repetitive like cycling and running. Uh, it also is total body. So you're moving everything from head to toe but you're able to get your heart rate up without necessarily putting impact on your joints. It's an ideal format for people who are injured or who don't like the very mundane movements of cycling and running, right? If you want something a little more flowy joey then deep extreme is great so we'll see a little bit of that in action when i get started that's at 12 i would like to film another fudea beauty video comparing the z series brushes to the kazan series brushes i'm also quite tired as i explained earlier didn't really sleep well and uh when i don't sleep well my brain is not i'm just not that focused and i have a tendency to not have a really great workflow my productivity levels are just like bleh. i do want to at least film two videos uh we'll see how that works out the brush video doesn't have to be that extravagant i tell myself that all the time it's like uh, chill okay chill i already mentioned them in the live but i want to do a dedicated edited video and I also want to do a live talking about Fude Beauty's holiday specials directly on their site. So going more in depth about the different brushes that they offer. Oh, look, hey, Holo Taco. I bought Holo Taco's uh, nail care set. All the tools are like iridescent, like finishing. It's so beautiful. I spent a lot of money on Black Friday. Funny enough, although I did buy some makeup, the major purchases for the Black Friday Mayhem have been this DJI Pocket 2, as well as my drone. Look at this thing. I cannot wait to fly this. I don't know what happened, fam. I filmed one vlog and now I'm inspired to uh, get some aerial shots, you know? The Mini 2, apparently, because I've been watching a heck of a lot of reviews and how to is because that this is the best drone for beginners is a lot more powerful than their first mini model i checked out my local drone laws we're good to go uh, ideal to do it here because there's not a lot of interference there's a lot more open space like you definitely cannot fly a drone in manhattan you just no i don't think it's allowed it's not allowed and there's also too much interference the drone and remote will just be constantly disconnected so i'm excited about that that's why i'm trying to plan out my day because i do want to film and i want to play with my drone we shall see but whatever i decide to do you know i'm gonna bring you along for the ride so until then see you in class <laughs>
test test one two one two testing out this um well i already tested it out yesterday that was friday today is saturday fam and i apologize for uh hop skipping to another day without concluding the previous one what happened was this was still connected to the camera and i failed to realize that and when just speaking directly to the camera my audio did not pick up at all because the dead cat mic was somewhere not in front of me <laughs> with that said i wanted to update you on some things uh mom dad and myself went to connecticut this morning wave hill bakery to grab our triple fermented sourdough bread as i mentioned we were going to do it yesterday and we just hopped around a little bit did some light grocery shopping we're back at the archer headquarters to teach a class at 11 less than within a half an hour or so class is at 11 Mom and I are going to the mall. We're going to the mall. I have to return a few items to Lululemon. And after that, I have a photo shoot with mom and dad. I got some new stuff to share with you. And there are no better models than mom and dad. I mean, it's just not. It's just not. And then after that, I will love to try my drone which is also something i needed to update you on forgive me i was watching a lot of videos about drone flying and such and it's highly recommended to ensure the best lighting that you fly a drone or even take photographs i guess for that reason early in the morning or dusk in the evening yesterday's dusk lighting was atrocious it was cloudy it was just there was no there was nothing the sky was giving me nothing. So hopefully today, it started out cloudy this morning. It is now sunny. Hopefully it will not change. If it does not change, we could do a test flight later and I could share some of that footage. I'm not going to lie, fam. I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> I tested it out briefly in my parking lot last night. And I was so nervous because my mom was like, oh my God, oh my God. I'm like, mom, mom. You're, you're not helping. <laughs> I saw a lot of videos. It's meant to go super high despite it being a very light and small drone. That's part of the reason why people are very much impressed, especially those who fly drones for a living. It does well against heavy winds, heavyish winds. And today seems to be a very conservative weather type of a day as tomorrow the weather will be transitioning into something that's not ideal for drone flying. After class, I'll take you along for the ride to go to the mall and we'll end this vlog with some drone aerial shots. See you then. just said to me she said she wanted some Saint Laurent sneakers I was like excuse me hey mama yeah oh uh, what hat do you have on wow hey you good girl I'm cool <laughs> <laughs> well he already has like 20 sweaters hey how about oh, this? Those are look nice. at this look at this that's pretty how about that but that's also very expensive but that I don't care let's I like the long sleeve too. Okay. Let's see. Whoa, that's pretty. That's not too bad. Look how beautiful it is. That's a large. Does he do extra large or large? So I guess, you know, this. So he probably wants the extra length. Yeah, and this. Ah, from the extra large. fancy in your living room that's so, the only party that's going to happen so. now <laughs> <laughs> like, right you know when i come out since i'm not going out anywhere that's right so you do. could wear this in the meeting in your zoom meetings <laughs> that is pink <laughs> 
Hello. I realized, yes, I got this dead cat mic on again. I'm so sorry. I realized that there was a very sharp transition from when mom and I were at Nerdstrom's to me playing with my drone. And I was like, there was no transition. There was no lead in. So fam, I would like to say it is 8.04, I promise. And we are concluding our, I would say weekly vlog, a compilation of the last three days. I know my first vlog was one day and that was more because I think I was able to accomplish since I didn't have specific goals in mind. Whereas this vlog, I really wanted to get my drone shots in. And you know, there were some flubs along the way. For instance, those moments when I was talking to the camera and the mic, was just not there. So it would have been strange to include those clips. Although yes, I could have done voiceover, but I'd rather just do this. And I'd rather just compile all the footage together from other days. So yeah, that is where we're at right now. I wanna say thank you for watching and hopefully these very beginner, amateur aerial shots with my first flight with my little DJI mini 2 are somewhat enjoyable i tried to get a uh, sunset although it's very dark as you'll see but maybe you can make out some details now that i know i have i have a little bit of hand of what i'm doing kind of i'll be a lot better maybe i'll fly a little higher and yeah with that said have a good night afternoon or morning wherever you are and i will see you on the next one